Let's take a look back at the best of that one then, as it was Diamato who led the field down at the start. But it was to prove to be a bit of a lively uh, start to proceedings as Loris Spinelli got into the back of one of the Imperiali racing Lamborghinis, uh, knocking Ricardo Argestini into a spin. Through the opening phase of the race, we saw a total of three safety car periods due to uh, various different problems, but uh, moving his way forward, Bertrand Baguette in the new Honda NSX. Uh, unfortunately, though, we lost from proceedings earlier on. Uh, Oliver Wilkinson in the Audi R8 spun out down at the Ascari chicane and was not to resume. Moving their way to the front, Andres Saravia uh, fighting their way up from a fairly lowly starting position, uh, but more action going on down at Ascari. You've got your back money's for worth if that was where you got your ticket for this weekend. Uh, but what a disappointing race for Giovanni Venturini. Repeated problems in that Imperiali racing uh, Lamborghini Huracan, uh, eventually forcing him to pull over. Uh, a bit of an eventful one also for Jai Tong Liang and Raffaele Giamaria. And contact indeed between Alessandro Pierre Guidi in the Ferrari and Giamaria. And Pierre Guidi was eventually able to make his way by, but that wasn't the only time it got physical. After the pit stops, uh, Fran Rueda hit the front and, as you heard, uh, surprised himself with his overtake on Andrea Montemini for the win. And although Montemini closed in the final stage of the race, it was Rueda who took the victory by just six tenths of a second.